It's hard to imagine a consequence of saving someone's life might be losing one's own family ties. The 1984 California case of Sipple v. Chronicle Publishing Company, however, explores this real-life scenario in the context of an invasion of privacy claim. In 1975, during one of then-President Gerald Ford's visits to San Francisco, someone tried to assassinate him. Oliver Sippel, however, grabbed the would-be assassin's arm just as her gun fired and potentially saved the president's life. Sippel was heralded as a hero throughout the nation and received much publicity. A San Francisco Chronicle article, published days later, mentioned that Sippel worked on the campaign for Harvey Milk, California's first openly gay elected official. It also forecasted that praise for Sippel would perhaps, quote, help break the stereotype, unquote. Subsequently, several papers across the country cited the Chronicle article and noted that Sippel was a prominent member of the gay community in San Francisco. Some even speculated that the president hadn't timely thanked Sippel because Sippel was gay. Sippel found the articles to be offensive and sued the Chronicle and several other papers in trial court for invasion of privacy. He alleged that the publications weren't authorized to disclose the private fact that he was gay and that his family abandoned him upon learning this from the articles. The case against the non-California parties was rejected for lack of personal jurisdiction. The court later granted the California publication's motion for summary judgment, finding that Sippel's homosexuality was already public and also newsworthy, thereby shielding the papers from an invasion of privacy claim. Sippel appealed, asserting that the elements of an invasion of privacy claim presented questions of fact that couldn't appropriately be addressed by summary procedure.